Good morning, everybody. Here's the driving video for our 2014 750 Li. It has just 31,100 miles. Um, this has a V8 twin turbo with that makes 445 horsepower. This thing is a really, really awesome driver. Showing the dash. Full digital display, which is really cool. Um, heads up display as well works. Um, this car is loaded with options. Crazy stuff, adapt, I think adaptive cruise control, lane keep, lane assist, um, comfort, sport modes, traction control buttons, camera modes, I don't even know, all sorts of gadgets and stuff. A lot of tech packed in here, um, but uh, I know most of you guys just care about how it drives, not to say you don't care about all that stuff either, but radio works. AC works. AC it's works. freezing though, so let us know. Has uh, ventilated and heated seats, but um, yeah. Either way, really, really cool car. We we've been uh, daily driving a 2012 S550. We were just saying how we think that this car kind of smokes it in terms of uh, both performance but also creature comforts. Really nice car. And this has the M Sport package. It does, which is upgrading wheel. I don't know what else, but um, the battle shifters are here too. Definitely a cool car. Tells you what, um, what like the speed limit is. I'm not sure how it does it, but like 40 and then show them the sign right there, 40 miles an hour, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I don't know how it does it, but uh, either way, neat stuff. And uh, it has a few uh, modes, comfort, sport, probably eco. Yeah, it's sport, sport plus, comfort, comfort plus, and eco. We're gonna put in sport plus and you can immediately feel it tighten up, it turns traction control off and changes the entire display. Show them this. The entire display turns like red, evil mode, and turns traction control off. Um, which I guess is, uh, means that just you, you want to rip it around, is probably what it's for. The car's not at complete operating temperature yet, so we're gonna not drive it so hard, but you guys will just see what it's made out of, how it drives. This thing is really like, it's planted, but it also has a lot of power. Um, brakes work great, you need good brakes on a heavy car like this. Awesome. I was recently in a uh, 2024 7 Series and uh, I was expecting the technology in this to be much worse but I actually think I like it more just in the simplicity of it and just kind of what it's more analog it's more it's more analog and it's also just simpler like just simpler overall and everything looks really nice and I don't know everything just kind of holds together really well compared to the newer cars where like there's no creaks or anything like it's that. A very quiet car. Even our S550 is not this quiet in terms of just cabin noise. Really, really quiet car. I'm very impressive. Thank you. And, yeah, it drives awesome. Very nice the sport modes. Uh, thinking we have to buy one for our uh, commute in the morning. Yeah, right. We're going to put it back down into Comfort Plus. And you immediately just feel this difference. It's a luxurious feeling. Get over us for a turn around. Throw it in reverse, and you guys can. Oops, wrong way, this way. You guys can see through this overhead sensor thing, along with uh, this really cool. Um, kind of parking. And there's parking alerts and stuff of that nature as well. Yes. Ventilated seat. I'm gonna put a my heated seat on. I agree. You can put both on at the same time. That's the neat. I can't imagine it does. <laughs> um, Bunch of storage. Oh, that's a neat little goodie. Uh, phone adapter. <laughs> Plastic still on for it. Yeah, look at that. Um, yeah, really neat. So also, it looks like there's a trunk release button in here. Right there, yeah. That's very cool. To unlock and lock the trunk. And there's also... Sunroof. There's a sunroof there. There is... It's rear sunshade. Rear sunshade, but also there are uh, mirrors in the rear which is pretty cool. And the leg room, this is the L-line, so it's extended. It's a lot of leg room. A lot of leg room. And there's also, I wanna show you guys this, don't know if it's at a good angle, but there's also the uh, climate control back there, which is kinda cool. Yeah, either way, um, there's also this lane assist, which is over on my side that you can't really see. Lane assist by the looks of it, adaptive cruise control by the looks of it. This thing was ahead of its time in my very opinion. Very much so, very, very much. The jam is full of tech. The heads up display is really nice as well. It just shows you your speed. I'm sure you can change it, but uh, all it's showing me is my speed, and then next to it is the speed limit. Um, so it'll have to kind of avoid some tickets. <laughs> um, either way, let me see. Just play music for a second. Yeah, wow. Killer sound system. Absolutely. 
These seats are really comfortable. They are. My heated seats are also like very hot. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Yeah, definitely a huge difference between Comfort Plus and Sport Plus. Night and day. Feels like two different cars. I could uh, definitely see anybody who is trying to uh, kind of get into a more classy sedan. This is this is it for under definitely under 50k. <laughs> This is probably a, uh, yeah, this is as good as it gets. Yeah. Either way, thanks for watching, guys. We're probably approaching the uh, longer side of the video, so thanks for watching. Enjoy the auction. And one last thing, the M emblem on the wheel is also a nice little 